to the same W. Cowper. The author notices the decline in his faithful companion and caregiver, Mary. She has stood by him through his troubles, and the future looks much like the past, which her weak heart may not withstand. We feel sorry for them and their situation, both past and present, but are glad they had each other. To the same. The twentieth year is well nigh past since first our sky was overcast. Ah, would that this might be the last, my Mary. Thy spirits have a fainter flow, I see thee daily weaker grow. Twas my distress that brought thee low, my Mary. Thy needles once a shining store, for my sake restless heretofore, now rust disused and shine no more, my Mary. For though thou gladly wouldst fulfill the same kind office for me still, thy sight now seconds not thy will, my Mary. But well thou playedst the housewife's part, and all thy threads with magic art have wound themselves about this heart, my Mary. Thy indistinct expressions seem like language uttered in a dream, yet me they charm whate'er the theme, my Mary. Thy silver locks, once auburn bright, are still more lovely in my sight than golden beams of orient light, my Mary. For could I view nor them nor thee, what sight worth seeing could I see? The sun would rise in vain for me, my Mary. Partakers of thy sad decline, thy hands their little force resign, yet gently pressed, press gently mine, my Mary. Such feebleness of limbs thou proves, but now at every step thou movest, upheld by two, yet still thou lovest, my Mary. And still to love, though pressed with ill, in wintry age to feel no chill, with me is to be lovely still, my Mary. But ah, uh, by constant heed I know how oft the sadness that I show transforms thy smiles to looks of woe, my Mary. And should my future lot be cast with much resemblance of the past, thy worn-out heart will break at last, my Mary.